Welcome everyone. Join me today as we embark on a journey to the chronicles of science history. Transformative period known as Scientific Revolution. A journey from Copernicus to Newton. Witness the amazing story of the birth of modern science. This is the historical development of modern science in Science Revolution. This is Mel, and I will be your reporter for today. We all know that modern science refers to the systematic study of natural world using empirical evidence, experimentation, and rational analysis. It emerged in the early modern period and has its roots in the scientific revolution, a period of significant intellectual and cultural change. These amazing scenarios all took place in Europe between the 16th and 18th centuries. Let's kick off this with pre-scientific revolution. Before the scientific revolution, knowledge about the natural world was largely based on philosophical speculations, religious doctrine, and traditional beliefs. Ancient civilizations such as those in Greece, Egypt, China, and India made significant contributions to knowledge in fields like mathematics, astronomy, and medicine. However, the methods used were often based on observation, deduction, and reasoning rather than systematic experimentation. During the pre-scientific revolution, it may have helped in the rise of mathematics in all the fields, but since it is not really based on systematic experimentation, this does not really provide a good impact, but it gives a very good start in the scientific revolution. The next historical development is the Renaissance and the dawn of modern science. The Renaissance period from 14th to 17th century witnessed a resurgence of interest in classical learning, art, and science. Humanist scholars like Leonardo da Vinci and Copernicus began challenging traditional views, paving the way for new approaches to understanding the natural world. The rise of Renaissance in dawn modern science is one of the greatest scientific revolution that ever made in historical development. This arises when Copernicus and like Leonardo da Vinci tried to question and even to contradict what are the given scenarios and situation when it comes to understanding specific situation in the world. This begins opening up curiosity and at the same time giving a better proof in understanding and explaining phenomena. The next historical development is during the Copernican Revolution. Everybody might have heard the name Nikola Copernicus. He proposed a heliocentric model of the solar system challenging the geocentric model that had been prevailed for centuries. His work laid the groundwork for scientific revolution by demonstrating that the Earth was not the center of the universe. The heliocentric model created or stipulated by Copernicus is a very strong proof that human by itself evolves from just a simple experimentation down to a more morbid and more active and more advanced, advanced way of explaining what are the natural evidence, evidences or natural events that occur around the Earth. With the heliocentric model, it actually eliminates the old model, which is the geocentric model, that tells about the sun is the center of the solar system. However, all of the other bodies are, I mean, revolves around the Earth. While heliocentric, um, eliminating Ptolemy's theory, it actually proved that the sun is the center of the solar system. At the same time, it actually allows all the other bodies of the solar system to evolve around the sun. The next historical development of modern science and scientific revolution is Kepler's laws and Galileo's observations. Johannes Kepler formulated the laws of planetary motion. 
providing me mathematical evidences for Copernicus' heliocentric theory. While on the other hand, Galileo Galilei made groundbreaking astronomical observations using telescopes, supporting the Copernican model in challenging the traditional Aristotelian views. People in the scientific world now evolved from just a simple observation down to a very good, maybe, historical development. Kepler's contribution in providing mathematical equation regarding the motion in the solar system actually proves, double proof, or I, should I say, strongly proof about the heliocentric model formulated by Copernicus. On top of that, it actually being supported by Galileo's, Galilei's observation, the father of telescopes, where he has actually written down and provided visible observation in proving heliocentric um, theory provided by Copernicus. This is an ev a revolution of scientific field because this time they are now questioning traditional way of creating matters that occurs in the solar system or in the world. With that, this time they are giving more vivid and more strong, I mean, a stronger proof towards proving a certain theory and at the same time challenging a given traditional theory. Next historical development is with Francis Bacon and the scientific method. Francis Bacon advocated for a new approach to scientific inquiry based on empirical observations and experimentation. His work laid the foundation for the scientific method, emphasizing the importance of scientific observation, hypothesis testing, and induction. The scientific revolution, or the historical development of the scientific revolution, started in just a pre-scientific era, when it's just purely observation, deduction, and reasoning. We forgot about empirical um, experimentation. Good thing Francis Bacon developed this widely used and still applicable and still being used scientific method, where it actually provides the importance of observation, hypothesis testing, and at the same time, induction. It gives us bigger and better view in answering and giving proof to a specific phenomena. One of the profound historical development in the fields of science is Isaac Newton in the loss of motion. We know that Isaac Newton revolutionized physics with his laws of motion and universal gravitation. His work provided a comprehensive framework for understanding the motion of objects and the forces acting upon them, uniting terrestrial and celestial mechanics under a single set of principles. In the world of physics, Isaac Newton contributes a lot in bigger with his wonderful creation with the laws of motion and universal gravitation. It actually gives us more comprehensive uh, framework in understanding motion, objects, and forces. This is a basic foundation in eliminating and discovering wider discoveries in the fields of physics. This is one of the best and improvements in the field of science because it's just not just a mere uh, or a simple observation, but it's a rigid study, repeated experimentation, and empirical uh, decision making to prove a certain phenomena. This is one of the biggest contribution in this historical development of science. Too many things were discussed prior. This time, let's talk about the impacting legacy of the scientific revolution. The scientific revolution transformed society by challenging established authority, fostering intellectual curiosity, and promoting empirical investigation. It led to an advancement in various fields, including astronomy, physics, chemistry, biology, and medicine, laying the groundwork for modern science and technology. This historical development in the field of science gives in impact in various fields that actually still evolves, that actually still improves, and would actually still discover more things in the future. If we were only staying in the past when we are not really into empirical experimentation, we might not have embraced such beautiful advancement that we are experiencing nowadays. 
this is the time and this is a proof that we science um, interested people or science enthusiast people should continue doing our own research should continue doing our own observation should continue doing our own experimentation to give a better and more improved field in the science thus embracing technology in modern science to conclude, scientific revolution marked a vital moment in human history, ushering in an era of rational inquiry and empirical exploration that continues to shape our understanding of the universe today. It's still a continuous process. We all know that. And we are encouraged, not just us, but everyone in the rest of the world, to do the same. This is Mel again. That's it from a historical development of modern science and scientific revolution.